Hi guys, welcome back to the Go Anfield channel. Liverpool faces challenges, as Connor Bradley sidelined with injury. Liverpool star asks agent to find him new club as exit nears. Liverpool launch pound 51M transfer bomb for La Liga star after claims Salah move is agreed. Let's go with the latest news from Liverpool today. But before we start, leave a like and share the video for the true Reds fans. Reports suggest that Liverpool is preparing an offer for Real Sociedad's Takafusa Kubo amid speculation of Mohamed Salah's potential departure from Anfield this summer. Should Salah opt to leave, Liverpool may find themselves in need of a new forward during the upcoming transfer window, especially considering rumours of interest from Saudi Arabian clubs who might once again test Liverpool's resolve. Previously, al Ittihad from the Saudi Pro League had made a substantial £150 million bid for the Egyptian winger, which Liverpool promptly rejected. Despite subsequent reports indicating a willingness to raise the offer to £200 million, Liverpool remain steadfast in their stance that Salah is not available for any price. However, with Jurgen Klopp announcing his departure at the end of the season, it could signal an opportune moment for Salah to seek new horizons, particularly amidst whispers of renewed interest from Saudi Arabia. In fact, Michael Emanalo, the director of football for the Saudi Pro League, hinted in December that there might be another attempt to acquire Salah, with the intention of making him the league's marquee figure. Mo Salah, like Messi, Benzema, Cristiano Ronaldo, and the likes of Kevin De Bruyne, these are players that when there is a sense of availability for them, we are willing to listen," Emanalo told Sky Sports. But we also understand that Mo is happy where he is at present and in a historic, wonderful club at Liverpool. We respect that very much, and we don't want to come across as putting any pressure on him. But if there is any interest to do something, Mo Salah is a player that you want in your league, in any league. We respect Liverpool and in this scenario, the initiative to do anything won't come from us. There has to be an aligned interest from all parties involved. It's a very personal thing. As a player that I recruited for Chelsea and I like, there's nothing I'm saying that is new or groundbreaking. That a player of this level of talent is available and your league wants him. If Mo Salah is available, has an interest to come and everything is aligned, I would be incredibly delighted. Liverpool could potentially address the void left by Salah's departure by securing the services of Real Sociedad's Kubo. According to Spanish website Fichajes, Liverpool is intensifying their efforts in the transfer market and is poised to make a significant move for the Japanese talent. Reports suggest that Liverpool is gearing up to make a substantial offer of £51 million for Kubo. Despite Liverpool's apparent determination to secure his signature, the 22-year-old winger reportedly harbours a preference to continue his career in Spain. Speculation continues to swirl around Salah's future, with former Liverpool defender Jose Enrique suggesting that the Egyptian star may indeed make the move to Saudi Arabia. Enrique hinted at a real offer of £200 million, indicating that Salah's departure could prompt Liverpool to seek alternative options to bolster their squad. If the right offer comes, then I think Salah will leave because I think he was actually trying to leave last summer, Enrique told Grosvenor Sport. They were offered something like £200 million for him last summer, and that was a real offer. When you get an offer like that, usually it means there is already an agreement between the player and the club. I think Salah had already agreed to go and I believe that he will finally go to Saudi Arabia this summer. Enrique added, Jurgen Klopp is leaving so it's the perfect time for Salah to go. There is a new cycle happening at Liverpool and lots of changes, so it is perfect for him. This will likely be the final big contract of his career, so I think he'll leave for Saudi Arabia. Liverpool midfielder Thiago Alcantara has reportedly instructed his agent to seek out a new club as his exit from Anfield draws near, according to sources familiar with the situation. The 33-year-old Spaniard is unlikely to be offered a contract extension by Liverpool and is poised to depart when his current deal expires at the end of June. Despite grappling with persistent injury setbacks, Thiago is adamant about continuing his playing career and is determined to find a new opportunity elsewhere. Thiago's time at Liverpool has been marred by various fitness issues, limiting him to a mere five minutes of action across all competitions this season. Since his arrival from Bayern Munich in 2020, the midfielder has struggled to maintain consistent fitness levels in the demanding English football landscape. While Thiago contributed to Liverpool's FA Cup triumph in 2022, his tenure at Anfield has been overshadowed by his frequent spells on the sidelines. Having amassed 98 appearances for Liverpool, Thiago has endeared himself to fans with his exquisite passing, 
and creative prowess. However, his quest to reach the milestone of 100 appearances hangs in the balance due to his persistent injury woes. Thiago's fleeting cameo against Arsenal in February may stand as his final outing for the Reds, as insiders suggested earlier this year that Liverpool are resigned to his departure come summertime. Liverpool is grappling with unforeseen challenges as defender Connor Bradley faces a lengthy spell on the sidelines due to an ankle injury sustained in a recent Premier League encounter against Crystal Palace. Bradley's absence, expected until May, disrupts Liverpool's defensive plans and forces manager Jurgen Klopp to reassess his tactical approach. Bradley had emerged as a key figure in Liverpool's lineup since January, prompting discussions about Trent Alexander-Arnold's potential transition to midfield to maximize his playmaking abilities. However, Bradley's injury has abruptly halted these considerations, thrusting Alexander-Arnold back into his familiar defensive role. The timing of Bradley's injury couldn't be worse for Liverpool, coinciding with crucial fixtures in both the Europa League and the Premier League. His absence sidelines him for pivotal matches against Atalanta in the Europa League quarter-final, as well as domestic encounters against Fulham, Everton and West Ham United. Furthermore, doubts linger over his availability for the May 5th clash against Tottenham Hotspur, which marks one of Klopp's final games at Anfield. In Bradley's absence, Klopp faces a tactical dilemma, with the immediate option being the reintroduction of Joe Gomez, who offers versatility but has seen limited action recently. Gomez's experience at right-back provides a viable alternative as Liverpool navigates through this challenging period. The injury to Bradley amplifies the pressure on Klopp to make astute team selections, particularly following Liverpool's disappointing 3-0 defeat in the first leg of the Europa League quarter-finals against Atalanta. As Liverpool vies for success on multiple fronts, Klopp's decisions in managing the squad become increasingly pivotal, potentially shaping his legacy in his closing days at the club. While Bradley's injury poses a setback for Liverpool, it also presents an opportunity for other squad members to showcase their capabilities. As Liverpool strives to overcome adversity and maintain their pursuit of success, the coming weeks will be pivotal, testing the depth and resilience of Klopp's squad. Thanks for watching. You will never walk alone.